Imagine a place where time slows down, where gravity stretches light, where the laws of physics collapse into chaos. This isn't science fiction. These places are real, scattered across the cosmos, hiding in the dark. They are black holes, cosmic predators of unimaginable power. Some are so strange and terrifying, even our best science struggles to explain them. Today we'll dive into the most bizarre black holes ever discovered, from stellar monsters to universe-spawning giants. This is Every Terrifying Type of Black Hole Explained. 1. Stellar Mass Black Holes, The Cosmic Corpses Let's start with the most common kind of black hole, if anything about black holes can be called common. These are stellar mass black holes, born when a massive star runs out of fuel. It burns bright for millions of years, then collapses in a final catastrophic supernova. What's left behind is a singularity, an infinitely dense point, and around it, an event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can return. Stellar mass black holes usually range from about 3 to 100 times the mass of our sun, but their size, often just a few kilometers across. Imagine stuffing several suns into an object the size of a city. That's the kind of compression we're talking about. They're invisible, but they leave traces. They betray themselves by the way they influence nearby stars. If a star orbits too close, its outer layers are stripped and pulled into a swirling disk of matter. This disk, called an accretion disk, heats up to millions of degrees and emits powerful X-rays. That's how we find them. And there may be millions of these lurking in the Milky Way alone, some quietly drifting, some locked in binary systems with companion stars, some possibly wandering much closer to Earth than we'd like to think, completely silent, completely deadly. What's terrifying about them is not just what they do, it's how many of them there are, and how little we know about where they all are. 2. Intermediate Mass Black Holes the missing link. If stellar black holes are the small ones and supermassive ones are the giants, then intermediate mass black holes are the mystery in between. They're thought to weigh hundreds or thousands of times the mass of the sun, too massive to be born from a single star and too small to form in galactic centers. For decades, we didn't even know if they existed. They were purely theoretical, a hole in our understanding literally. Then, signs started appearing. Unusual X-ray bursts, odd gravitational behavior in star clusters, and one potential candidate, HLX-1, roughly 290 million light years away, and possibly 20,000 solar masses. So where do these things come from? One theory, they form when smaller black holes merge over time. Another theory, they're born in dense star clusters where chaos reigns and collisions are frequent. Or maybe they're remnants of ancient cosmic events we no longer understand. What makes them scary is the unknown. We don't know how many exist or where they are. They could be floating between galaxies, invisible and untraceable. Imagine a black hole the size of a small moon, moving through intergalactic space, like a silent torpedo. We might not see them coming, until it's far too late. 3. Supermassive black holes, kings of the cosmos. Now we move from terrifying to colossal. Supermassive black holes, the gods of gravity, found at the center of nearly every large galaxy, including our own. Our Milky Way has one, Sagittarius a star. It's about 4 million times the mass of the sun, and that's on the small side. Some galaxies host black holes billions of solar masses strong. Their gravitational pull shapes the orbits of stars, gases, even entire galactic arms. When they feed, they don't just devour, they ignite. They become active galactic nuclei, or quasars, blazing beacons visible across the universe. Jets of plasma, thousands of light years long, burst from their poles. They don't emit light but everything around them does. It's pure cosmic fury. But how do they form? That's one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics. 
Did they start small and grow over billions of years? Were they born big, moments after the Big Bang? No one knows. But what we do know is this. They control the evolution of galaxies. They regulate star formation. They set the tone for cosmic architecture. And yet, they still hold secrets. Because at their core is still a singularity, a mystery we can't penetrate. A place where time and space collapse into nothingness. 4. Primordial Black Holes, Relics of Creation Now we go deep into the unknown. Beyond observation, into speculation. Primordial black holes. Not born from stars, born from the birth of time itself. Right after the Big Bang, the universe was a chaotic soup of energy. And in some theories, small pockets of over-dense matter may have collapsed into tiny black holes. Black holes formed within microseconds of the universe existing. They could be as small as atoms. Or as large as mountains. Some may have evaporated over time due to Hawking radiation. Others may still be out there. And here's where it gets weird. Some scientists think they could be responsible for dark matter the mysterious, invisible mass that holds galaxies together. If primordial black holes exist in large numbers, they could account for a massive portion of the universe's mass. And here's the creepiest thought. They'd be impossible to see. They'd pass right through Earth without a trace. Right through you. Right through the core of our planet. And you'd never even know. If they exist, they are ghosts from the beginning of time and they're still with us. 5. Wandering Black Holes, The Rogue Destroyers Not all black holes stay where they were born. Some are kicked out of galaxies, exiled by gravitational interactions or the violent aftermath of collisions. These are rogue black holes, drifting through space, untethered, unpredictable. One was detected just 5,000 light-years away, moving through our galaxy, a stellar mass black hole, completely alone. Imagine something with the mass of several suns, sailing through space at 100,000 kilometers per hour. Invisible, indestructible, if one entered our solar system. It wouldn't need to hit Earth to kill us. Its gravity would disrupt orbits, flings planets into the sun or out into the void. The worst part? We'd have no warning, no flash. No light, just a shift, and then chaos. 6. White Holes, The Opposite Nightmare Now let's flip the concept. What if, instead of a black hole that only pulls, you had something that only pushes? White holes, theoretical opposites of black holes. They can't be entered, only exited. Nothing can fall in, everything is expelled. Some scientists believe that every black hole may be connected to a white hole, through a wormhole, an Einstein-Rosen bridge, a tunnel through space-time. In theory, matter falling into a black hole might emerge somewhere else, in another place, another time, another universe. But there's a problem. White holes violate entropy. They break the second law of thermodynamics, and they've never been observed. Still. If they exist, they could explain some of the biggest mysteries in physics, like where the information goes after falling into a black hole, or how the universe began. Maybe we were born from one. Maybe every black hole births a new universe. And white holes are their openings. A terrifying concept. Because it means there's no such thing as nothing, only somewhere else. Seventh, Kerr Black Holes, Spinning Monsters. Black holes don't just sit still, some spin. And when they do, they change everything. These are Kerr black holes, named after Roy Kerr, who in 1963 solved Einstein's equations for a rotating black hole. They don't just pull in matter, they twist space and time around themselves. This twisting effect is called frame dragging, and it's one of the most bizarre phenomena in physics. Near a Kerr black hole, you can't remain motionless. Even if you try, space itself is rotating, dragging everything with it. You're caught in a whirlpool of space-time. This creates a region outside the event horizon called the ergosphere. 
Inside it, you can still escape, but only if you move with the spin. Resist, and you're pulled in faster. Now here's where things get wild. It's theoretically possible to extract energy from a spinning black hole. This is called the Penrose process. You drop an object into the ergosphere. It splits in two. One piece falls in. The other escapes, with more energy than it started with. Where does the extra energy come from? The black hole's rotation. Some scientists believe this process might power quasars, or explain ultra-powerful gamma-ray bursts, and in extreme theories, advanced civilizations could harvest black hole spin as a limitless power source. But getting close enough? Surviving the radiation, tidal forces, and time distortion? That's a different story. And here's the scary part. Some Kerr black holes spin so fast, they're just shy of the limit imposed by physics. Go beyond that, and the equations break down. The singularity could become naked, exposed to the universe, a violation of the cosmic censorship hypothesis. That might create closed time-like curves, time loops, pathways into the past, or worse, into paradox. We've never seen that happen. But we've never proven it can't, either. 8. Charged black holes. The Reissner-Nordstrom paradox. Most black holes are neutral. No charge. Just mass and gravity. But what if one held an electric charge? Enter the Reissner-Nordstrom black hole. A theoretical object that adds electric fields to the equation. Charged black holes have not one, but two event horizons. An outer one similar to a regular black hole, and an inner one, deep, unstable, and strange. Between them, space and time swap roles. Movement becomes time. Time becomes space. Causality starts to break down. If you crossed both horizons, some equations suggest you wouldn't hit a singularity. Instead, you'd enter a tunnel, a gateway to another universe, a true wormhole but that structure is fragile. Even a single photon could destabilize it, collapsing the whole interior into chaos. No escape, no other side, just annihilation. In reality, a charged black hole wouldn't stay charged. It would attract opposite charges and neutralize itself quickly. But what if, somehow, one did persist? It might distort light twist magnetic fields, emit dangerous levels of quantum radiation, and at its core, possibly harbor loops in space-time, closed time-like curves, theoretically allowing time travel. Even worse, charged black holes might preserve information, raising new questions about the information paradox. Could fallen matter leave behind imprints encoded in charge or exotic fields? A charged black hole wouldn't just be deadly. It would be confusing, illogical, a riddle in the shape of a void. 9. Quantum black holes. The Planck scale threats. Let's go microscopic. If black holes can be massive, can they also be tiny? According to some quantum gravity theories, yes. These are quantum black holes. Objects so small they exist at the Planck scale, far smaller than an atom. They could form in high-energy particle collisions like those inside particle accelerators. In fact, when the Large Hadron Collider first started, there were fears it might create one. It didn't. But the idea still holds theoretical weight. Quantum black holes would evaporate almost instantly through Hawking radiation. But some models suggest they could be stable. And if so, they might act like subatomic bullets passing through matter, destroying atomic structures, and continuing on without slowing down. Undetectable. Unstoppable. Possibly eternal. They could pass through a planet. Through you. Through everything, without a trace. These would be the black holes you'd never see. The ones that don't announce themselves. Only leave behind damaged atoms and broken bonds. A ghost weapon of the quantum realm. 10. The Ultimate Black Hole the universe itself? Now we arrive at the final and possibly most terrifying theory of all. What if our entire universe is inside a black hole? It sounds absurd, but some cosmologists take it seriously. Here's how it works. 
When matter collapses into a singularity, it might not end. Instead, it might pinch off into a new, self-contained region of space-time. A baby universe, born inside a parent black hole. From the outside, it looks like matter was lost forever. From the inside, a new cosmos is born. If that's true, our own Big Bang might have been the result of such a collapse. We live inside a black hole from another universe. And every black hole in our universe could be a seed for another. A chain of universes, one inside another. Fractal reality. It also means that black holes aren't just ends. They're beginnings, the building blocks of entire realms. And it means death. Might always come with rebirth. Black holes aren't just terrifying because they destroy. They're terrifying because they challenge what we think we know. They force us to confront the limits of space, time, reality itself. Some we've seen, others are just math on paper. But all of them push us closer to the edge of understanding. And the farther we look into the darkness, the more we realize how strange the universe really is. Thanks for exploring the cosmos with us. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the most terrifying types of black holes, like this video. Share it with a friend who loves science and mystery. And subscribe to our channel for more journeys into the edge of reality. Because out there, in the black, the universe is just getting started.